Welcome to Tech is a New Black, where we give you all the latest information you need to know about technology and hopefully help you sound a little smarter at your next dinner party. Today, since football season is upon us, we're going to talk about the study of game film and how it's really just as important to athletes as nutrition and physical activity as well. Um, Powell, I understand that you've been to a university actually see this in progress. How does that work? That's right. So the way that technology has impacted game film is ridiculous. Uh, a long time ago, they used to call them cut-ups. And the reason they call them cut-ups is they would actually take film and they would cut the film and tape it together and put it on the reel-to-reel -reel and watch it. And that terminology stuck with them and they call it cut-ups, but that's not at all what it is now. So now it's all digital, they have cameras at the games and they take footage of all the games, one from one of the clocks, you get down in distance, one from behind the quarterback, so you can see what's going on, one from the sideline. And then after the game they go through and they cut all those up and they cut out all the fluff, so it's just these little segments of the plays and that becomes their cut-ups that they can study and they can go through and categorize all the plays so when they get plays from other schools they can go through and categorize them all based on their nomenclature so they put in the name of their play that would correspond to the team their play ends play and then it becomes all searchable so they can go through and say show me every play that our opponent ran in the red zone from a four wide receiver set that resulted in a touchdown or first down and they drop all that down and then boom there's all the plays for that scenario which is a tremendously powerful tool for game preparation sure but how does the other team actually get that information i, I wouldn't think that's something you want to readily give your you know opposing team yeah there's an agreement that they have to all share it so what they do is when they after a game the staff will sit there and cut them up and then they upload them to a common website and then the teams that are playing can go and download those you know, game films, and so then that way that allows them to prepare. So there's this service that sits out there, and each game now in high def is like 15 to 20 gig. It's a lot. Wow. And so they shove it up there, and then their opponents can go through and download it, and it's it's an agreement that you will post your film, mm -hmm. and then everyone else can grab it that way, and that's the way that they prepare. So is not, that not the same as cheating? It seems a little bit like it is in that you have all their plays at your disposal, but it really kind of comes down to the way it is like in school. When you were in school and you had a chemistry test, you know, you'd studied everything in chemistry before you went in and took that test. The question is really, can you recall what you had studied? In the modern you know, way of football, there's nothing that those guys haven't seen. You know, they've seen all the plays from the other team in certain situations, well most, and then it's just a matter in a game situation, can they recall it and can they remember what their response to that play is. So it's not cheating, it's just really recall, which is not dissimilar from most of the other things that you do in college. Sure. So we really want to make sure our athletes are smart so they can make sure they know all their plays. That's exactly right. That's a huge thing is that the guys that can recall it and all that stuff, those guys are going to play. So you have to be smart and really athletically gifted in these days. Awesome. Well, thanks, David. We appreciate it. And uh, good to know during football season when you're helping recruit those athletes, make sure they're, <laughs> they're smart, too. So, That's right. Uh, make sure you follow us online. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Tech is a New Black.